there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, today's wine, uh, Hoya del Rio Toro 2015. Um, from uh, founded in 1970, our winery became known as the Jewel of the Douro, uh, Duero, uh, Hoya del Rio, um, and the Toro Appellation. Uh, they major on uh, Tempranillo there, also known here as uh, Tinta de Toro. Uh, and I think uh, it's, it's not too far from Ribera del Duero. In Ribera del Duero, you're allowed to put 25% of other grapes in there. Most people stick to. Uh, uh, to virtually 90% plus Tempranillo. Uh, but in Toro, I think it has to be 100% Tempranillo. I may be wrong, but I will fully be prepared to be uh, pulled up on that. Anyway, uh, 2015, uh, let's give this a whirl. Now, sometimes I have a problem with Toro uh, in that uh, it can, it's not too difficult to get wines that are way, way up in alcohol. Um, so 15% is, is perfectly normal. This one's 14.5%. Uh, if you've got grapes that are like that, uh, Toro, you know just from the name of the wine, almost like what the wine's going to be like. It lives up to its name. They're big and uh, grunty wines. Um, and sometimes they overgrunt them by getting thinking, we've got all these grapes, let's mash, mash, mash to get as much flavour out as possible. But when I smell this, it smells like they've been quite gentle with it. Uh, I look at the colour and it's not it's a it's not a black wine it's it's still very much a red wine and so there's this freshness there's a uh, yes there's the dark berry there's a bit of the black currant in there but there's almost something uh, aromatic as well a little bit of spice a little bit of herb maybe even a little bit of um, gentle plumminess yeah there's this warm a juicy warmth you can feel the the presence of the alcohol and uh, there's a drying edge there, which I'm. There's a bit of me thinks as uh, it's been in, in, in oak for a, for a few months, uh, but there's this juicy damson character, uh, as if the skins of, of the grapes have just started to shrivel, and they've been aware of that, so they've not overpressed it. If they'd overpressed it, you'd be left with more dry tannin. Uh, then maybe the wood, if there is some, is giving a little bit more of a framework for the wine. Um, I, I really, I think they've done a, a very good job there. Uh, and uh, it's there, there are bigger butcher toros, but um, that's one of those that I think I could sit there and drink quite a bit off rather than uh, just go, whoa, that's just a bit too much. Can you turn the volume down? But uh, I'm not going to turn the volume down on this. See you soon.